In this video, we're going to be going over a BMW E90 335 transformation and what it costs to build this vehicle. This vehicle started out 100% completely stock. The first modification that we did to it was wheel studs and teen lowering springs. The prices that we're posting up on this video are not reflecting some of the labor charges as well, just what the product cost us, only because we did some of the labor ourselves. So if you are looking to have something like this done or looking to take it to a shop, you're also going to have to pay labor charges on top of that. The next modification that we did was we took off the front stock bumper since it had some body damage done to it. And we went with an aftermarket Selma M3 bumper, which we pur purchased off of eBay. The fitment on it was amazing. It fit great. The quality of it was great. We didn't have to do hardly any body work or any kind of modifications to make it fit. The only modifications we really had to do was the inner wheel tubs. The next modification that we did was the side skirt extensions, which we purchased off eBay as well. They were very inexpensive and basically just went right underneath the factory side skirt. This vehicle had a lot of body damage, so we had to make sure that we fixed all that before we went with the wrap. There was body damage almost on every single panel of this vehicle. The only thing we did not include in this video is we had a PDR guy come out and he did an extensive amount of PDR work on this before we did the actual body work. And he gave us a really good deal, about $1,000 worth of PDR. We got done for about $250. We did not include that in this video only because most cars would not need that amount of extensive work. But the female who owned this car before ourselves, she destroyed pretty much every panel and everything on this car before we got it. The wrap that we went with was called a KPMF Matte Crystalline White. Probably one of the best looking colors I have ever seen on an actual wrap myself. Um, we get compliments on this color every single place that we go to, every event, every show. Everyone thinks that it's actually factory paint. They love the color of it. Um, I have to explain to them it is a wrap, but the pearl just hits so nice out in the sun. I mean, it's just a beautiful color. It stays clean easily. It looks clean all the time, even when it has dirt on it, but it is a great, great material. We actually love KPMF. It's a great brand. We use it on a lot of vehicles. So this is definitely something I would recommend for anybody that's wanting to do a wrap. I would say KPMF is one of the best wrap companies out there. As you can see, there was a lot of work put into doing this vehicle with doing the wrap. Every single part of this vehicle had to be wrapped, including the tail lights, the actual trim, the mirrors, the kidney grills, the roof. Every single part of this car pretty much was wrapped. If it was a body panel or a panel, the only thing that didn't get wrapped was the headlights that we had original, which were the bi xenons. Um, we did a partial wrap around the actual headlight housing. If we had more time in this video, we would definitely show a lot of this more in great detail, but this was done about two years ago, so a lot of the footage we didn't get. We wanted to cover up the amber in the headlights, so we did that with the white. We also did, like I said, the chrome delete and roof wrap in the satin black. It just makes it look so much more cleaner than having that ugly chrome trim on there. This was the original front lip that was on this Selma bumper, but we did eventually change it. It only lasted about one hour before it hit hundred miles an hour and ripped off and went underneath the car and destroyed itself. So we actually went and custom made one ourselves. These are the mirrors and the kidney grills that were actually wrapped in carbon fiber wrap. The next step we did was a reflective 3M caliper wrap on all the calipers. The calipers were absolutely disgusting on this car when we got it. So we wanted to wrap them or paint them in a red, but we actually ended up going with a 3M red reflective wrap. We actually took the rear bumper and put black satin black wrap over it to make it look like it had somewhat of a diffuser on it just to give it a little more sporty appearance until we changed out the rear bumper because we are gonna do a M4 or a different style rear bumper on this car. We ended up changing all the brakes and rotors we didn't go with anything too crazy. We just went with some like OEM replacements, um, but it was pretty inexpensive. So that's why we did that for the time being, only because of how much money we've already put into this vehicle. 
We did replace the struts. That's one thing that wasn't in this video as well. We did go with all new Bilstein struts only because the struts on the factory ones actually went out. And when you're driving, it rode like a log wagon going down the road. So we eventually changed those out with Bilstein struts because we couldn't handle the ride. It was just so bad. I mean, you'd hit a pothole and you'd think the whole wheel was gonna break. Here, we're actually respraying the Velgen new 20 inch wheels. We want the 20 by eight and a half in the front and a 20 by 10 and a half in the rear. I'm not sure of the offset. We bought these for a pretty good price only because of the damage that was done to the vehicle. So we wanted to respray them a black with a red custom pearl. There was a lot of work that we had to do to these because when we originally went to have the tires mounted onto these, the people that was mounting the tires actually damaged two of the wheels. Um, so we had to fix them and the other wheels had damage on them from the pre-existing person that had bought them. So we had to fix all four wheels. So we went ahead and just painted them a totally different color than the gunmetal color that they were before. We thought that they turned out absolutely amazing after all the body work and paint work that went into this. Wiley actually put a lot of time and effort into making these look as perfect as they are. It's very hard to tell from the videos, but they look super black when you see them. And then when the light hits them, it'll turn like a candy red or a pearl red when the light hits it. It looks great out in the sun. Everybody, we every single place we go to, we get a compliment on the wheels, especially it matches with the red lug nuts and the red caliper wrap that we did on the vehicle. It's something subtle that most people would never notice, but we wanted to make it look nice. Here we're doing the kidney grills. We went with an M4 kidney grill. We wanted to go with something a little bit more newer. They were painted gloss black. We ordered these from eBay. It took a little while to get in. The fitment wasn't the greatest, but it actually looked a hundred times better than the stock one. So we just wanted to do something to make it look a little bit more modern and up to date, which is another reason why we changed out the headlights as well. The bi xenons were broken, weren't barely working. They were aimed in totally different directions, could barely see driving down the road. So we bought these eBay headlights for $300. Absolutely amazing for what we paid for them. Lasted two years, never had an issue out of them, worked great all the time. I mean, I could never ask for anything better out of a headlight that we paid $300 for. The only downside was we would never get a transition between high beam and low beam. And we do have a headlight sensor or a headlight indicator part on our dash, basically saying we have something wrong with the headlights. That's the only problem we've ever had. We did change out the spoiler and went with a Selma painted spoiler that we bought off eBay. Fitment was perfect and on point.